What's going on YouTube? George here. Hope you're amazingly well. Welcome to the full day of eating. If you're new to the full day of eating, it's basically a full day of eating, like I said, but it's just me going through all my meals, specifically why I choose this meal, what, what I've been doing, just going through everything, going through the macro-wise, giving you advice, giving you um, meal ideas that you can put into your own kind of um, lifestyle and diet and just like experiment with your food. So I'm currently bulking. Uh, macros I'm trying to hit around 200 grams of protein I'll just put it down here in case you uh, forget around about 400 to 500 grams of carbs a day and about just over a hundred grams of fat I'm not really too bothered about fat at the moment so sit back relax get your notepads out write down whatever let me know if this helps you out smash the like button subscribe and I'll see you guys in meal number one so if you've been uh, following me for a while now, you used to know I have eggs and oats in the morning, you start off with that. I changed to like scrambled egg on toast and now I've come to protein pancakes. Now I do really get quite bored of my breakfasts in the morning, I don't know, my appetite in the morning varies quite a lot. Sometimes I'm hungry, sometimes I'm not hungry. But for my protein pancakes, I add in uh, oats, add a little bit of milk so it um, kind of mixes much better. Um, I add one banana in, I add two whole eggs, uh, 15 grams of peanut butter, one scoop of creatine and one scoop of protein. And if you're interested in what spray I use, I use the uh, this one calorie spray. You can actually find these in Aldi if you look hard enough. They're down like the section where they sell like the biscuits and stuff right down the bottom. And one calorie spray, obviously great. As it's one spray, one calorie per spray, I have to say, and I just do a few little sprays on there, and we're good to go. So, if anyone's uh, watched my uh, protein pancake video where I completely fucked up my pancakes, they're burnt as fuck. I've came a long way now, guys. So, in the comment section, just say thank you. Thank you for improving. Thank you for listening to your advice. Take a look at that. What a little beauty that is. That is perfect. So, in the comments, just say, just tell me thanks, and I, I really, I really appreciate it. I fuck it up. I love Jeremy Carl. I've applied to watch the live shows. I love it that much. I watch it every day. Come on, Jezza! Whack him! So guys, in the morning, I take my um, supplements with me. So I take one multivitamin and one iron tablet, purely because I don't eat a lot of fruit and veg uh, when in the bulking season, as much, well, as much as I do in the bulking season. So uh, with a multivitamin, a multivitamin tablet, you can guarantee you can get all your micronutrition, like your vitamin C, your vitamin K, all that kind of stuff. So I take that purely because of that. I take a cod liver oil tablet, the high strength ones, purely because I just want to look after my joints and bones. And I know if I continue lifting till I'm like 50, without like taking like either a cod liver oil or stretching that kind of stuff is going to affect my joints in the long run and I also take a uh, vitamin C tablet which I put into my drink like that um, these are like exactly the same as Barocca's but they're like 75p in Audi and whereas Barocca's are like £4 something so definitely recommend these so the app I use is MyFitnessPal to track all my foods and stuff like that all you need to do is just scan the barcode on the product weigh whatever you use or whatever and you're good to go so for today, for this morning, meal number one looks like this. So we had 1,003 calories, we had 119 grams of carbs, 32 fat, 55 grams of protein, and 39 grams of sugar. Okay guys, so it is 20 past 12. Um, meal number two is a staple kind of meal in my diet. So meal number two is gonna be some turkey mince, 7% fat, and we're gonna have uh, one packet of boiling the bag rice. So here is what meal number two looks like. And a quick little tip for anyone who's dieting or wants to reduce their salt and sugar intake, get the 50% less sugar and salt um, Heinz ketchup. Now you will be paying a little bit more extra but I definitely recommend it. Luckily my mum bought me this because she's an angel, but um, definitely recommend it. So I used to have beef mints uh, instead of the turkey mints, um, 
But what I realised is when I used to have beef mints all the time, I used to make my shits go a bit weird. And I used to shit it out straight after eating. I think, hang on, that surely can't go through me that quick, can it? Um, so I changed the turkey mints just to vary it up a bit. It tastes much nicer, obviously, because I'm so used to the beef mints. Um, it tastes much nicer and I don't shit it out as soon as I eat it. So it's all good. Uh, basic standard bodybuilding meal. Um, something with rice, chicken, beef mints, turkey mints, all that kind of stuff. Standard bodybuilding meal. It's probably going to be my pre-workout meal as well. I'll probably have a little snack before that. I'll show you guys that. But um, like I said, always very experiment and vary your food. See how it goes. And um, it's all about trial and error, guys. So my pre-workout kind of snack is two bagels. I started eating one, so I apologise about that. But you'll be quite surprised that... Um, both of these bagels are 10 grams of protein each. So it's 20 grams of protein for basically just eating bagels. Now, if you're struggling to get your calories in uh, or anything like that, then I definitely recommend eating bagels. Bagels are high in calories. I think uh, per bagel is like 200 something calories. I'll put the macros for both of these on the screen. I think it's about 200 calories. Quite easy to eat as well. You can make anything out of um, bagels. You can make like uh, egg bagels, chicken bagels, all that kind of stuff, fish bagel, fish finger bagel, all that kind of stuff. So definitely recommend bagels in your diet. I'm using uh, whole wheat or whole grain um, or whole meal, whatever the fuck it is, whole meal uh, bagels purely because I'm trying to get a bit more fibre in my diet uh, just to make sure my digestive system kicks in and works properly. So I'll probably see you guys over at the gym. So guys, um, I just finished up at the gym, um, sorry I couldn't, I couldn't get an, a lot of clips purely because the gym is so small and it was quite crowded this evening, so I'm definitely going to go a little bit earlier next time because it was a bit too busy and everyone would have walked in front of the camera and shit like that and it would just been shit, so I do apologise for that. But what I did is I did 4 exercises for biceps, I did 3 exercises for triceps and um, my triceps were pretty fried from uh, the chest workout, so I didn't go too crazy in the triceps. But I didn't. I thought I'd vary my rep ranges today, and I thought I'd go to like 20 to 15 reps on my bicep um, movements. And the same for triceps, really. I didn't go anything above uh, below 12. So, like I said, always mix up your uh, rep ranges for your arm workout. A lot of people like going high reps. Um, a lot of people. Some people like going low reps. So just balance it, see what works best for you, mix it up here and there and uh, your arms will eventually go, I promise. So post-workout is looking like this, we have two Hadouk fillets which are the frozen ones from Young's Chip Shop, These you get these in Aldi in the frozen section and we have a packet of boil in the bag rice, macros on the screen for you here, eat big or stay small baby, gonna demolish this. Okay guys, so the time is currently just after 10 o'clock and my final meal looks like this. We have 150 grams of whole uh, whole wheat pasta. We have 210 grams of chicken breast. In case you give a fuck, um, I use this pesto sauce I get from Aldi to um, mix in my pasta. And I'll put the macros on the screen for this right now. And that is probably my final meal guys. Um, and I'll probably see after I finish this, so. Stay tuned.
Alright guys, so that concludes the full day of eating. Um, give these meals a go, give them a shot, try something new. Like I said, hopefully these give you a few ideas on what you can put into your diet if you're bulking. Um, like I said, I'm on my final phase of my bulk now. I should be finishing in about April time. So it's time to step up that game. It's time to step up those calories. Now I put the calories on the screen for you today. I had 4,000 calories. I went a little bit over my um, protein and I went quite a lot over my carbs. Um, like I said, I'm stepping it up. You need to eat big to get big. It's simple as that. If you're not eating, if you're eating three meals a day and eating 2,000 calories, you're not going to grow muscle. I don't give a fuck. A lot of people come to me and ask me regarding... Or oh, I want to lose weight, but I want to build muscle at the same time. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. You can't be in a calorie deficit and build muscle. It's just not going to work. Your body needs to be in a calorie surplus to build that muscle. It's as simple as that. So you need to either choose if you want to lose weight or build muscle. It's as simple as that. You need to be in calorie deficit to lose weight and a calorie surplus to put on weight. If you're not eating, you're not going to grow. If you're eating three meals a fucking day... Um, trying to grow off that, you're not going to grow off eating three meals a day in 2,000 calories. It's just not going to happen. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Get in that kitchen, eat your food, eat five meals a day. It's doable. I've, I've worked. I'm at uni half the time. I can still fit five meals in a day. There's no excuse. I'm in nine till five. I can do it. Anyone else can do it. I don't give a fuck. But like I said, you need to eat. It's simple as that. Eat, 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 eat. Now, would I recommend having 4,000 calories like I... Uh, did no, I don't purely because everyone's different. Like, if you're five foot one and you weigh nine stone compared to someone who's six foot four and weighs 15 stone, the macro is going to be completely different. Your maintenance calories are going to be completely different. If you're a female and you weigh seven stone and you're four foot ten, you're gonna your cat your maintenance is going to be much lower than obviously someone who's six foot four. It's as simple as that. Eat to get big, eat that's what I tell you guys. Eat to get big, it's simple as that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you smash the like button, share it with your mates. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Plenty more videos to come. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And I'll see you guys very soon. Eat big or stay fucking small. You decide. <laughs>